Hello and welcome to Penguin Crafts. Today I'm going to make this gorgeous little gift box. This is actually for a male um, sort of a family relative. This is going to be a gift box with magnetic closure. Hopefully you can see this. Yep. And it holds just four little chocolate bars which are just nice little gifts and this box just goes the extra mile in, in presenting it. So I've used some of the new in colours uh, which is fresh fig here and I've used the Eastern Palace collection, one of the DSPs from that. So please keep watching and I'll show you how to make it. Right, let's get started. So you're going to need your scoreboard and a piece of cardstock that is uh, nine and three quarter inches by eight inches. So on the short side, you're going to need two, let me just check I'm in view yet, you're going to need to score at half an inch. Two and three eighths of an inch, four and a quarter inches, and six and one eighth of an inch. Okay, then you're going to rotate it 90 degrees, and on the long side, you're going to do one and seven eighths of an inch, five and three quarter inches, and seven and five eighths. Okay, so what you need to do next is you need your trimmer, or you can use a ruler, I'm just using my trimmer, and then what you need to do is um, the bit here, if you can see the thin bit, you want to have away from you, so you flip it over, and you need to do a little mark in this top box at uh, 15 sixteenths, so very small, I know, I'm sorry and just do a little mark, okay? And we're going to take that away and we're going to uh, fold and burnish these score lines. If I haven't already mentioned, this is the new, uh, one of the new in colours, the Fresh Fig, which is absolutely gorgeous, such a rich berry colour, really, really nice. In fact, I should say fig colour, not berry colour. That's berry burst. Sorry about that. So it's going to fold and burnish all these score lines. Okay. So this is what you're left with. So now we need to do a bit of trimming. So with the thin um, half inch section on your left, we're going to cut off this bottom rectangle, okay? Just neaten that up, that was not my best cut at all, okay? Just neaten that up. And then we're going to snip up each of these. I think I'm going to use my larger scissors. Snip against both each of these. These are our, uh, for our base. That's better. Okay. So just snip up each of those. And then across the top here, we need to do a bit more cutting. So again, with the um, small half inch section facing you, that's the best way to do it, I found. We need to cut off these top two squares uh, on the first one, and obviously the, the rectangle next to it. Okay, so we're going to cut those off. Okay, and then the next one we need to cut off the top square. I'll show you close up soon of what we've actually left with, okay? We're going to cut off the top square, and then the next one you need to cut out both of these again. So this end one here is the one we've done that little mark. So I'm going to draw with a pencil because I'm going to struggle by it. So I'm just flipping it over so it's the wrong way. So with that point at the top, all you're going to do is connect it 
oh that was badly drawn connect it to the corner okay and the same on this side so all I've done if you can see hopefully is drawn that pencil line and then we're going to cut down that and cut that off okay So this is now what we're left with, okay? Slightly random looking, I do know, but it, it is exactly what we need. So we're gonna do just one small um, corner around us. This is my half inch, and we're just gonna corner around this at the top here. It's a bit more awkward to do, so just line it up the best you can. Okay, oh, it looks like I actually need my inch one, um, which is fine. Okay, just trim off any slight errors, which is fine, you know, we all have like slight little um, imperfections in our boxes, but that's what makes them a unique, so there we go, okay. So that is what we have today. This one here is going to actually fold back inside the box, so the best thing to do is just wedge off a bit on each side, it doesn't matter how much, it'll just make it that bit easier when we're compiling it. I think I'll wedge off just a little bit more actually. So as I say, that one is going to fold back on itself into the box. Okay. So now we need to decorate. So I've cut out my DSP, which I'm using from the Eastern Palace collection, and I've got four um, of the DSP that is one inch and one and a half inches by three and a half inches. Let me just check that. Yeah, one and a half by three and a half, and they're going to go on each of the sides. I then also have one that is one and a half inches by one and a half inches, which is going to go on our top. So let's glue these, get your fuse out. And just put that all around here. Okay. And just do the same on all four sides. And then when we come to the lid, I'll show you something you need to check, depending on which um, what type of DSP you're using. As you all know this video will be going up after the new catalogue is out so all of these items are available for everyone. Um, the in colours this year to me are one of the better lots definitely. I am in love with them especially um, this fresh, um, this tranquil tri not tranquil tri so the um, lemon lime twist which I'm not actually using on this one as this is for a male. Uh, it's actually for my partner's, um, for his dad's birthday which is a uh, this week, so I'm just making this little box for him to put his gifts in, uh, or should I say one of his gifts. Um, so I thought the lemon lime twist was just a bit bold. So your box is going to fold up, okay, like this, and this is going to come over the top. So you need to make sure that if your DSP has a direction, so for me, I've done it so that these sort of V points are pointing up, so I need to make sure I stick it on there that way. So when I lay it down, it's actually upside down. Okay, so if you've got an animal or a creature or some letters or something that matters, just make sure you check that so you don't end up with your DSP the wrong way. Um, as I'm sure we've all done it before. And uh, it's very frustrating. Okay, so there we go. So when I turn it around, it's the way I want it. So now we can glue this box together. Okay, so let's put some glue down the half inch strip. So that is going to be the back of our box, just make sure that's stuck. And then let's fold our base, so the base we're going to put the back in first, so wherever your back is and we've done the um, gluing together, which I've done so well I can't find it, there it is. So you're going to fold the back in, the two sides and then your front. So I'm just going to do a little bit of gluing first, so I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back, just so it's secure. I do always rather have more than I need. So I'm going to put it on the back and then I'm going to put a small bit on each of these two sides, okay? It all helps with the final product, just making sure it's secure. Just make sure you're lining it up square, we don't want any oxboxes uh, 
not lining up and then this is going to go down so i'm just going to make sure i put some extra glue on the final one right to the edges as i say in my opinion you can never have too much glue especially when you're putting one of the heavier items in and then fold that over okay so there is the front of our box this box is going to have magnetic closure so i've got some extra strong little magnets here hopefully you can see those they are very tiny they're sort of the size of one of our mini glue dots so what we need to do is work out where we need the magnet okay so this is uh, always easier than always said than done so the way i found to do it is if i fold this bit out and close this down you can see how far down i want my magnet so i'm just going to get a little pencil and roughly in there i want it somewhere there so it closes down suitably okay so as this is going to go on the inside we need to put fast fuse all the way around this okay so i'm just going to do that first so on that tab make sure you do it on the right side of it make sure you stick it down well as this obviously we don't want to bundle and then with one of your magnets i've got two here you're gonna find your little blob if you can see it and put your magnet on top okay so just stick it on top of there so hopefully you can see that yep and then all we're going to do is fold down and stick okay and stick that down next you're going to grab your other magnet and if you hold it over you'll see hopefully you can see that it takes to itself okay so that's perfect so then all we need to do is put a glue dot on that side of the magnet so make sure you do let them find themselves otherwise you'll end up with the magnets repelling and they won't stick so i have got a mini glue dot here and my paper piercer i'm just going to grab a glue dot and put that on top of there okay and then all we're going to do line up the box and close it just push slightly and then there we go okay just so simple there we go so i think we need to add some sort of um sentiment to this it is a birthday and i think do i want to put one on here or not what have we got i have got an old one now that i think is retired but it's absolutely gorgeous um i could put a, i suppose i could put today's the day on this actually i know it's a birthday one um but i don't think i want the happy birthday across there we can do today's the day so in that case i need a punch that i haven't got out it is. and i've got some bits of left, fresh fig left over and i think we're going to do a bit of color on color stamping so this is the fresh fig uh stamp set no it's not it's a fresh fig ink pad and again this is a sentiment from the happy happenings which i know is retired but if you can get hold of it i definitely would it's great pop on your stamp ink it up just check it's all inked and stamp that down okay i won't clean that but you know what i use my stamping scrub and um some of the stamping mist absolutely great product so let's just line this up with your decorative label punch and punch okay so I think we are going to use a bit of embellishment as well, where have I put them? I have a little drawer to the side of me, see where I've got all my embellishments. Um, looks like I need a new pack actually ladies. What have we got in here? There we go. So these are, I'm just going to be using the basic rhinestones. This is one of the older packs, um, but the new ones are out and they have them as well. God, I can never get in these packets. Oh, there we go. So, just some basic rhinestones we're going to use. Oh, one just flew off across the floor. Um, so we've got our little box there, and we've got our sentiment. I'm going to use some dimensionals. And put two of those on down the centre. And then we've got to work out where we're going to put it. So do we put it on the front, do we think, ladies, or on the top? I think I'm going to go with on the front. Um, and I'm going to put a couple of diamantes or gems on here. Just, I know it's for a man, but it's his birthday. You can have a bit of glitter on your birthday. Okay. This is actually the same style I used for my um, 
one of my latest videos which are for the swaps for the ladies at the retreat we're going to see so just peel off the back of your dimensionals line that up and stick it on and then hopefully this is where we hope we've made it the right size so here's those uh, chocolates I've got it should be a snug fit is my aim look at that perfect even I'm impressed with myself today that's all actually gone to plan so there you go there is the beautiful little gift box with a magnetic closure perfect and that's four little chocolates as a gift I was going to cut a little cut out there um, using my inch punch but I've decided against it again I think I think it's better like that and you just just perfectly closes and you can just tip them out so thank you for watching guys all details as usual be linked below onto the blog onto my facebook page and, and onto the store so you can buy these products thank you for watching leave some comments below please press like and subscribe for some more videos see ya